Oh, good morning. I wondered where I put that. Well, today's election day. And we're out on the tower. All eight of us. Volunteers and myself working on you know, just putting the tower back in order. And that's kind of what election day is also, isn't it? Trying to put our nation back in order. Let's get some coffee in here. And I'll take you around and show you a little bit about what we've been working on. Hang on, this is the good old Frank Pantara Signature Blend from Black Powder. I think everybody's muscles are sore from all the heavy lifting of cutting off a bunch of steel. And, and because it's steel, it will eventually just rust away even more than it has. So we've got put down in the Stored in the bottom of the seafloor as a place for the small fish to hide out and hide from all the big fish. That's a fancy way of saying we throw it over. Let's go take a look and see what we got going. Today's election day. My goodness. Just think if we spent all that money they did on all that advertising instead on fixing things. We'd have every single bridge repaired and replaced. 22 knots of wind. 23, 75. It says it's a little warmer outside, but uh, where is that inside? It feels great. It feels really comfortable. But it is really windy, so. So I'm disassembling the old solar system and putting in the new. And to do that, it's a little disruptive, as in I have to run the generator for the light so we can. I'm keeping all the EG4LL batteries because those are amazing. But we're shifting over to putting in Victron equipment. Got this Victron equipment. These are charge controllers. that will take all the sunlight we can throw at them. And um, did a little bit of painting. It's like a little bit of better paint, a little bit of, oh my gosh, let's turn back around this way. So we'll bring them in, do a disconnect, a surge protector, a couple of fuses for each string of panels. And here's one of the strings right here. <laughs> Pun intended. Got to go ahead and get that wired in because we have two strings in place outside. Let me grab my coffee and I'll show you. We have the one that's on the northeast side. Again, it's really windy so I'll just show you from out the window well that window is dirty how about this window yeah that'll work you can see the solar panels out there those are the Silfab solar solar panels what I love about how we got those installed is you don't see them when you look out the window they're just above eyesight but when you're out there on a hot day, it provides a really nice shade for you. So the benefit is we're going to get some electricity from that sun that's doing everything it can to pop up over there. See if I can zoom in and show you that. How's that for morning? It's pretty, isn't it? And Yep. Now well, we're going to go up top. Been working on the railing to support the replacement panels on the north side. It's heavy steel. That uh, my good friend, Mr. Dirk, worked on. Man, that's pretty. The shop's been working out really well. You might be wondering, why do we have all this wood in here? Well, because I mean, it's a nice, cool evening here. It's nice to grab some of that wood, split it, and then sit on the helipad and use our new fireplace that I made out of some old parts, which I'm getting ready to show you. You know, we take the duck work and uh, repurpose it. 
it's stainless steel, so it uh, lasts really well. It's going to get windy now. Sorry. Kind of like that. I think it looks kind of cool. Beautiful morning. One of our volunteers just hanging out on the top. He's got his welding hat on there. Now, this is strange. It's empty. Oh, the solar panels right here. Well, we'll get, we'll get the new ones back up here. It's also very strange. Take off the walkway. A couple more pieces to trim off. Now that's what we had to do because it was just rotting. Here's the panels we put on the other day. And these are on the north west side. I'm going to get back downstairs so you can hear me talk. Windy. So we took off the north upper walkway because, again, it was just rotting out over time because of a design flaw. They didn't build it the way that it was designed. If they had, it might have lasted. But because of the necessity to remove it, we're ending up with a great place for solar panels all around the perimeter. Still got some to remove out here on the south side. And when we get all those in, well, we'll have all those Silfab solar panels, almost 50 of them at 400 watts. That's 20,000 watts of power. Now you might say, why do you need 20,000 watts of power? Well, because there's no gas station around the corner. There's no natural gas or propane other than what we carry out here. I guess I carry out my own natural gas, don't I? Bad jokes. So, I appreciate you taking a minute or two as we drink a cup of coffee and that sunlight comes through the clouds to see the solar that we're working on. Structurally, it's important to have that old walkway off of here. Um, practically, without the solar panels up there, we can't keep the place warm in the winter and cool in the summer without burning a lot of fossil fuels. Now, I, th I think there's a place for having the, the generators run, but it's kind of nice to just have peace and quiet and know that the sunlight that's going to shine over the top of us today is going to go into the batteries for tonight and keep the lights on, keep the refrigerator cold, keep communications between here and land. And uh, it's just like eating an elephant or a whale. It's an enormous task. You just do it bite at a time, as they say. Mm. Speaking of getting things done bite at a time, if you stuck with me this long, we have an election today. And I know that uh, a lot of folks have very strong opinions. <clears throat> How do you reconcile that? Does it mean that one side's right and the other side is wrong? Does it mean that one side is evil and the other is wonderful? Or is it just part of working together? 
I know that uh, we don't have a perfect system, but we do have a system that we can work within. Let me give you a comparison. When I was 16, I got use of a, a car that my dad was kind enough to let me use. It was a bit of a hand-me-down car. It was a Chevy Vega. It's a car that, uh, well, kind of like our system. It sort of worked. wasn't the best, but it was American-made. And uh, as much as I loved the ability to get around and uh, say what I want to say and do what I want to do, and you know what I'm saying. That's how it is in America. I can say what I want. You can click or swipe past and not listen to it. But we did it. We did make something together with our grandparents, great-grandparents, great-greats. You know, we're here to take care of each other and take care of this world we live in. We don't always have to argue. We may have to. When it comes to getting things done, I might want this done. You might want that done. But it doesn't have to go crazy. Because, after all, you're here for a very short time. So I finish with, remember, be nice to somebody you do not like. Messes with their head. Let them know that somebody cares. It's not that hard to be nice. And tell those that you do care about how much you care about them while you can. While perhaps you're still around to do it. Or while they'll listen. Write a letter. Make a phone call. Anyway, I miss my daughters. And uh, drink some good coffee. Like the Frying Pan Tower Signature Blend from Black Powder. It's some good coffee. I'm almost done with this cup. Huh. And you can get it on fptower.org. People are saying, what's that, what's that again? fptower.org we're a non-profit trying to rebuild this place which I don't even own anymore because I've given it away give yourself away give your life away to those you can and go vote if you're standing in line right now to vote God bless you that's what makes America and coffee